What is up everyone, it's TyranitarTube and welcome back to another Pokemon TCG video And in today's video, we're opening the Shiny Eveltal tin When you see these at the store, it's crazy Shiny Eveltal and Shiny Xerneas tints And of course, a perfect Zygarde tin, which isn't shiny In the games, they hid the shiny versions of Xerneas and Eveltal for like two years And then last year, between October and November, they actually distributed the shiny versions of the Legendaries and the normal Zygarde to people in Japan And then in May, throughout this month, they actually distributed these to North America so if you did actually miss the event don't worry just comment down below people will probably give you codes you could probably trade with people but now these Pokemon are real Pokemon shiny Velto shiny Xerneas and Zygarde so actually there's this little tag up here and I've never tried this but I want to see if I can just rip this to rip off the nope so as I showed you guys in the Zygarde video you got the Velto front plate Eveltal on the bottom, Xerneas on the left, and of course, Perfect Zygarde on the right. And you just choose your favorite tin. You don't have to choose Zygarde just because it's the mainstream main one. You can choose Bacon Eveltal or Seasonal Xerneas. So if you guys don't know, this is what you get in a tin. You get four packs throughout the X and Y series. Not necessarily, you know, break packs or not necessarily like uh, Furious Fists or something. Nothing in specific. It's four random packs and then you get the Eveltal EX in the center. Freaking beautiful! It's got that white and red body, that is the best! Eveltal had to have been the best of the shiny XYZ trio because this thing looks so dope. It's got Evil Ball and Y Cyclone. Why Cyclone? You do realize that is just a Cyclone that takes everyone's lives. That is what Eveltal does. But this is a glorious promo. Let's actually pull it out. I love these promos, dude. This one's actually 150, way past the Fates Clyde set. And it's a dark type. And if you don't know, what they say in the TCG community is fighting and dark rule as the top tiers. And if you don't know, Zygarde is fighting and Eveltal is dark. So of course, here's your code. And let's get to opening the four packs. So the four packs we get are Fates Clyde. Collide, fates collide again, breakthrough, and roaring skies? I think these are freaking preset. It's time to read the back on this. That is exactly the four packs we got in the Zyger tin, and we saved roaring skies for last. I don't want to do it again. I'm going to save a uh, breakthrough for last just because that's the break pack. So let's start off actually with roaring skies and move on to fates collide. So roaring skies, it's got mega Gallade in the front. Is that a shiny? I think that's a shiny mega Gallade. What the hell? I don't remember that. I feel like I remember it. I feel like I remember seeing a shiny Mega Gallade somewhere in the TCG, but I just don't remember. So, one, two, three, one, two, let's see what we get. So, starting off with an Electrike jumping from nowhere to nowhere. Bagon? Dude, that's a lie. Bagon, you have to go deep in caves. Ninkata, I don't want to know what you're doing. Pidove in front of that Unova store. Dunsparce, I hate the live action Dunsparce. Fletchinder. Ultra Ball, Ninjask, that's a nice classic looking Ninjask, Pikachu, Fat Pikachu, and Altaria. It's one of these Delta Evolution Pokemon. You can pretty much play this Pokemon from your hand to force an evolution or something along those lines. So it's a pretty good at Pokemon, but I don't want an Altaria. So let's see, Fates Collide. Delphox, you can hear me. You can hear me loud and clear. You're a mage. You're, you're a mage. That's a Final Fantasy mage. The three starters are Final Fantasy characters. I think someone made a video about that before X and Y was released. It was a theory that you would have a mage, you would have a fighter and all that. And if you look at it, Chestnut, Delphox, and Greninja are actual RPG classes, which is pretty cool. So let's start off with Jigglypuff. Carbank, that's a shiny Carbank. Larvitar, I'm, I want a Tyranitar again. So down for Tyranitar again. Diglett, Spoink on top of the world. Serpentine running, what the Serpentine Strangle? Don't you vine with me. Ultra Ball, Old Amber Aerodactyl, Ultra Ball. Whoa, Audino EX, yes. I've never gotten an Audino before. This was from the Fates Collide Booster Pack. That is amazing. Audino, you, it may seem weird, but in Pokemon TCG, the two decks that were released for Fates Collide was actually Zygarde and Audino, Mega Audino. So this is actually on the other side of the spectrum. I wonder if its number actually supports that. It's 84, it's got Drain Slap, which is pretty good, you know. And do the wave, okay. Isn't that a great pull? So let's keep going. Break Lugia. Break Lugia is another Pokemon I haven't gotten. Breaks are just so weird because they don't uh, occupy the final slot. They occupy the second last slot. So because of that, you get the Hollow, and then you are excited by there being a card behind that and it turns out to be like a Pidgey. 
So, I gotta get used to that, but let's go. Gothita, look at that. It's just a music genius. Fennekin, don't do that. What the hell are you lighting the grass on fire? Meowth, Larvitar, Burmy, Special Energy, Shauna? Dude, get out of here, Shauna. Get your theory. Oh, a Pupitar. I've never gotten a Pupitar. I swear I haven't. Duosian, Moltres? I've gotten this mode just before. There's, it's Fates Clyde. There's a lot of different legendaries in this. It's got Combustion and Flying Flare. How cool would it be if in Sun and Moon they introduced more dual type attacks? So Flying Flare, if it was introduced, would be like a flying fire attack. And then like Fire Punch and all that would be like fire fighting. I don't know. I don't know if they're going to introduce more types, but it would make sense for me. So Breakthrough, this is the last pack. Come on, man. This is the luck. Come on. I don't know what this is. Uh, Pico, Pico Palm. All right. It's with these stupid ideas. Okay. Come on, break. Come on. Come on, Zorik. We don't need you here. Get your code. One, two, three, one, two. This is the. Come on. Get out. This is the pack. This is the pack. We're getting it. Mistrevious. Holy crap. That is creepy. Skiddo? What? No. Ralts. Stora. Noibat? No, go away. Magnemite? Is that the. Oh, that's not. I thought that was a Sinnoh protagonist. The hell out of here. Seeking? Those fangs. Swoobat, even more bats, returning echo, and then wave amplification. What is all this? Quilladin? Bro, Quilladin's arguably the ugliest Pokemon out there. Ar arguably. Come on. Chespin and Marowak. You just gotta throw the Marowak with sharpshooting and bone windmill. But the best card we got out of that was this beautiful Audino EX. Now, you gotta understand something. When you buy entire booster boxes, you're guaranteed to get some hollows. But when you buy tins like this, this pull is a major deal. I just really can't get over how good the shiny XYZ legendaries look. They look nothing like you would think they look in person. They look way too colorful and holographic. Like, the fact that these are promos does not bother me. Like, this is a glorious holographic. So anyways, I told you guys this in the Zygarde video, but the best part about tins is the fact that you can open it up, stuff your deck in there, and put this on top to just make such an amazing looking tin, especially when you close it. So that is all time for this. Be sure to watch the other two tin openings. We're gonna pull some good cards. I mean, we already pulled some good cards out of this one. So definitely look out for those. And as always, keep playing, keep laughing, and keep believing. See you in the next video. Peace.